Another one of the important challenges in conducting a literature review is to work out how you are going to manage and organize all of your different research items. Um, when I did my PhD, it doesn't feel like that long ago, but I would um, go to Sussex University Library and I would go amongst all the shelves and try to find um, journals. I'd, I'd have a whole bunch of them. It'd weigh quite a lot. I'd take them into this um, dingy room with about 20 odd photocopiers all pumping out weird carbon dust and it was um, a surreal experience but what I get what I got left over with is a whole bunch of papers that I'd put quite a bit of effort into going to find and I don't think that's very ecologically friendly at the moment I probably killed a good few trees um, so what you can do is you can evolve to the next step and just focus on keeping kind of pdfs of papers now that can lead to another problem which is well you're going to end up with a very messy desktop or a very messy folder um, and so even though you've saved a lot of paper that might not necessarily kind of help you in terms of the organization and so what is uh, kind of very useful is to use a specific um, reference manager. Now there are many reference managers and there are just some of these highlighted in this picture. Now I, um, in this video I'm not going to highlight um, particular ones. What I might recommend though if you are interested you could follow this link which I'll also put into the description of the video where there's quite a useful Wikipedia page which provides um, quite extensive comparison between different um, software here. So feel free to go and have a look. Um, there are many different types. I would perhaps perhaps kind of restrict your search to some of the most kind of popular ones and maybe I'll put some of my um, favorite ones or some of the most popular ones in the description of this video. Personally, um, I, I kind of really want one which is free, um, but I'm at the moment using one called Papers, which I think is on the Mac only, and it's actually kind of defunct now. So Papers, I think, is really nice. It's really kind of clean and um, useful and you could basically just pay for the software once and you can store all of your PDFs in your Dropbox folder and that works really nicely. More recent um, kind of developments have moved away from that model of just paying once for a piece of software and instead there's this some people like it, some people don't like it, but there's a tendency now to have this subscription model where you're paying um, two to five pounds or dollars um, a month potentially to have access to this software. And what you, what you get for that is storage of all your papers in the cloud. Um, that can be kind of really useful um, it can take away a lot of the um, organization, but personally, I kind of find that just annoying. I want to buy a piece of software um, and just be able to use it. I don't want to have to keep on paying every month. Also, you know, if you're spending money, for example, on a cloud storage system like Dropbox or whatever it may be, you know, why can't I just store my stuff there? So I'm, I'm kind of frustrated with the shift away from kind of paying for software once and then using it forever to this way of um, subscribing, um, nevertheless. So all of the uh, reference managers will broadly have um, a similar type of structure. And so on the left here, we can see that um, I've set up a whole series of uh, folders and so papers I can just drag papers into different folders um, 
so this is a useful way of kind of organizing information there is only one kind of copy of the pdf but these are kind of hypothetical folders if you like and so um, just because one paper might exist in five different folders in my organizational scheme that doesn't mean it's wasting my hard drive space the main part here is the the top middle where you have a list of papers so you can order this by authors or title um, year of publication by journal um, even by when you imported it into your library and by clicking on one of these you you will get a, a pdf preview so you can scan through it typically if you if you double click on these things you'll just get the full pdf up just to read through over on the right there's kind of additional information where you can either kind of automatically search for bibliographic um, information or if it hasn't quite got it right you can um, correct that information there so this was just a, a very brief overview of um, ways in which you can organize your um, your your research items when you're doing a literature review. I would strongly recommend using some form of paper management system. I'm probably going to do a separate video where I talk about um, the different ways in which those um, are useful. Here I have emphasized um, managing the files and being able to search but of course there are other um, major advantages of using systems like this when it comes for example to creating your reference section. So watch out for another video along those lines in the future.